Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Um, my name is Dr. Kewe Daniel Ogidigben, and I'm a general practice specialty doctor in training here in England. Um, I'm in my SD3, and I'm, God willing, you know, fingers crossed, due to um, qualify in a few months. Um, I've got my colleague with me, um, Dr. Clinton, but his nickname is Native. Everyone knows him as Native. Um, he's in ST3 as well, and he's also due to qualify in um, uh, in in a few months. Um, for part time, I do YouTubing, and on this channel, uh, those who know me know that we talk about productivity, travel, and lifestyle. So what we'll be talking about today is the um, MRC GP, which is Member Royal College of General Practitioner exam known as the Applied Knowledge Test. To qualify as a GP um, in the UK, you have to, this uh, Applied Knowledge Test known as AKT is one of the exams you have to sit um, to be able to finally um, meet your requirements to qualify. Uh, and um, I took the exam uh, two times, wasn't successful twice, and was became successful in the third time. I, we're not gonna go into um, the details of the structure of the exam or um, what have you. What myself and Dr. Native will be um, having a chat about today is, um, what strategies did we apply to be able to, success, to, be, uh, to become successful uh, in this exam? Uh, Dr. Native uh, also recently, uh, passed the exam like myself, scored 89.5, as we like to say, uh, from where we come from to the glory of God, you know, um, I scored 81.5 eventually. And um, believe you me, there's people who are struggling with these exams, you know, just like I struggle with it, have uh, written, you know, maybe first chance, second chance, and then some people have written the third chance, and this exam, you have only four chances to be able to pass it. Otherwise, you're going to be advised to withdraw from the training, except you have very, very cogent reasons why you should take a fifth chance. So what myself and Dr. Native are going to be doing today is having a chat uh, to see if our colleagues who, especially the last chances, uh, can benefit a thing or two as to the strategies they will apply um, just to be able to uh, become successful at this exam. Dr. Native, welcome to Dr. Kewe TV. Thank you so much, Dr. Kewe. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be <laughs> I apologize, here. I <laughs> apologize for that very long introduction. <laughs> it's That's unlike fine. me, I must say. So, um, yes, like I said in the introduction, uh, you recently scored 89.5 in the AKT. Yes. yes the, the Applied Knowledge Test is abbreviated AKT, as we call it in our parlance. So we're going to be saying AKT. I uh, took the exam two times, um, and then eventually, very close, very, you know, borderline failings, and then eventually scored 81.5 when the cutoff was 70.5. Do you, you agree that some people are struggling? Can, can you tell us, you know, what you like to share about your own exam? For so... So basically, um, I know that a lot of people, a lot of my colleagues are struggling for this exam, are struggling yeah. to pass this exam. Um, yeah. It's not an easy exam. It's a very difficult exam. Um, yeah. It's very broad and yeah. and it doesn't matter what experience you have prior to this exam. This that exam is. will definitely be new to you when you write this exam. Especially and, if you're an international medical graduate, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. Like like the both of us, uh, you know, yeah. because, you know, we're not used to this pattern of exam and writing this exam, it, it, it can be very daunting. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, um, my experience in this exam, I mean, you, yeah. you, know, you know almost 100% of the story because you're part yeah. of my success. And I, I, must <laughs> attribute, <laughs> I must attribute that to you, um, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, when I saw your story and how you didn't pass, you know, uh, two times and you wrote it the third time and you made it, I I, yeah. I instantly messaged you. And yeah. I'm going to tell everyone about the strategy that you said to me and that you gave to me yeah. in which I, you know, I used to, you know, pass this exam and have, you know, a very, you know, wonderful score in this exam. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Now, now. People, some people will say, how long do you have to, 
you know, read for this exam, you know. Oh, yeah, people, that's a good start, actually. Some people say, you know, is it three months? Is it six months? Uh, yeah. Believe you me, um, I think three months is enough. But like the strategy you give to me, the one month before the exam. Yeah. It is best that you take your study leave as well as your personal leave and take almost a month away from work to prepare for this exam. That was quite significant, wasn't it? It very, very significant. Very, 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 very significant. And I'll tell you why it's very significant. Now, as you know, as you know, initially, um, you know, um, the first, when I took the exam the first time, I was not successful. Mm -hmm. And that was when I spoke to you and you told me that you take the strategy and I was successful. And you see the difference between the scores using just the strategy. Exactly. Now, the, the, the first one, the first exam, I missed it just by one mark. Mm. You know, the, I think the cutoff was about uh, 70.5 and I was 69 and it was very devastating. And then when I mm. saw what you wrote, I decided to reach out to you and, you know, you advised me. You said, look, follow the strategy, which I'm going to talk about now. And this would, you know, will give you the, the magic. So I took a month away from work. All I did was every morning, I wake up in the morning, mm-hmm. I, I, I start studying. Yeah. And every week as I study, I ensure that at least I do two mocks per week. I use my Saturday and Sunday to mm-hmm. do a mock for this. Now, well, I used wait, to... let me, let me, cut, let me, let me, let's hold that thought of mocks, Dr. Native, right? Yes. Let, before we get to the mocks, you know, you, you mentioned that when, from that one month of the exam, when you took your annual leave, which is the same thing I did and shared yes. it to you, 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 every morning you wake up, you study. Let's talk about that study before we go for the mocks. What personally, you know, some people have the opinion that, oh, you have to first of all leave the question banks, read the guidelines, read textbooks. You know, different people have different strategies of study. Yes. What I, what I mean, I'm not someone who is able to open textbook and start reading from from front to front, from front to back. Do you get what I mean? Yes. I'm, I'm more of a go with the questions and then use your guide your the guidelines you know going back into nice guidelines especially cks you know if you need to go into bnf you're going to bnf and yes. using that for referencing instead yes. what was your own pattern in terms it of was, study it was exactly my pattern so my pattern yeah. i never opened any textbook i started mm-hmm. with question banks i go yeah. to the question bank solve the question then i go to see the reason behind the answer to the question then yeah. use the CKS, the BNF as references to read and then make make notes if I have to. Exactly, exactly. And and I, I think I think, you know, although different people have their pattern and other people who have passed will say, might say, oh, well, this was my pattern. But I think that pattern is a bit is uniform. It's fair to say that's kind of like a generic pattern that works, isn't it? Exactly. I think I think that pattern works a lot. I think it it, it works a lot. So you know, so that was the pattern I used to start studying. Uh, yeah. Do you mind so if I going through question? the questions? No. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, even uh, Mark Coons in the in the fourteen fish package, they did, they did, you know, they did mention past medicine. Yes. Which is quite generic, and then GP self test is free for every trainee. Exactly. So exactly. it's not as if the question banks are secrets. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just want Although, to know. You know, sometimes we, we can stick like... with those two, can't we? Yeah. 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 yeah so. I mean, we can stick with past medicine and, and, and GP self-test. Yes. For the purpose yes. of this. Yes. Yes. And those two, those two were fairly, I think it was fairly enough because um, you know, like for my first exam, right? I I used I just I, I tell people like I was all over the place. Do you understand? I was yes. I was just gathering materials and gathering materials and gathering materials. You know, I hear of this, I'll collect, I hear of this, I'll collect. I hear of this, I'll collect. And then I didn't really clamp down and focus on any of them. Mm. So it's one thing I tell people that, you know, it's not gathering a lot of materials. What you have, you know, GP self-test is basic. It's it's for everybody you get. You decide on whatever additional, it mustn't be past medicine, really. You decide on whatever additional question bank you want to use, but then focus on those two. 
Yes. And and do your referencing because we're talking about four thousand questions at least in each of these part of these uh, banks, isn't it? Yes. Exactly. Yes. So I, I I think was that what you did? Exactly. That's what I did. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. So 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 uh, uh, basically, um, what what I did was use these question banks. Um, mm -hmm. you know, study them every day. Yeah. Yeah. And make notes as as mm -hmm. normal. And this yeah. was the pattern. Every morning, every day, I wake up in the morning. I study, study till mm. evening, like as if mm. I'm going to work. So I start, you know, wake up early in the morning, as early as five o'clock. I'm awake, take my mm. morning tea. I start reading from five o'clock. Have a break in between. Continue to read till it's six p.m. in the evening. I do like that medical as school day reading. Yes. That's what this, this yes. exam is, isn't yes. it? Like yes. medical school day reading. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And then in the evening, you go to the gym to exercise just to, you know, get yourself distracted yeah, a bit, feel exactly. refreshed, you know, and, you know, you repeat the same cycle again. Exactly. So, so you know, I kept doing this and then every weekend yep. I do at least two mocks, one mock on Saturday, one mock on a Sunday. Exactly. Which was what I shared with you. And that was what I did as well. Yes. And so, from way early enough, because people make that mistake, we must reiterate at this point that people make that mistake, and I did make that mistake twice, of only yes. starting mocks like maybe a week to the exam. Very wrong. You think you are very, reading, you are reading, you are reading, you are reading, and only a week to the exam do you start the mock, and then you score 60-something in the mock, or you score 70-something in one of them. You're yes. still not grounded. Exactly. Compared to if you had started like maybe four weeks. I actually started mocks. Once I was going to go for my third sitting, I started mocks like 12 weeks to the exam, I'm telling you. Which is that, which from, is solid. From weekend one, I'm already as I'm, I'm already doing mocks because again, maybe it's different when someone is taking the exam for the first time. You get yes. But yes. if you're on the third time and you were very or you're on the second time and you were very close the first time, you know, you know that you are not here to play or something. <laughs> exactly. And and let me say this: I'm even if you're taking this exam for the first time. I yeah. think it's also wise to start with mock. Do you know why? Exactly. Because the mock makes you understand where you are knowledge-wise and mm -hmm. how tough the exam is so that at least you have an idea of how tough it is. Because exactly. when you're solving a question bank and then you're seeing the answers, you might as well think, oh, if I was in the exam, I'll think of this answer. That's because you've seen the answer. But exactly. if you solve the question bank first, even if you have a very poor score, at least mm -hmm. you have an idea where you are. And that makes you, you know, prepare because you're in a position to make yourself better you know to pass you know the next mock and the next mock and the next mock and before you know it you're exam ready i totally agree i totally agree because what colleagues need to know is that i mean when you are ready for the exam in the mocks even if you are repeating a mock you just you start scoring in your 80s in your 90s consistently yes and this is because you started doing the mocks early Exactly. Do you get what I mean? And and of course, the weekends. There's no better time than the weekends to do. No I, you said that. you said you were even putting in four mocks at some point. Yes. <laughs> so uh, at some point af after the first week, you know, yeah. the, the the first week after the first week, I was scoring sixty five, seventy, and I'm like, yo, this is the second time you're writing this exam. How are you be scoring sixty five? Meaning that you're not ready. So what mm -hmm. I did was that now. This 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 young man I wrote this exam three times um two two times and passed the third time told me that he was doing the mock twice. If yeah. I do the mock four times, that would be double his work, meaning that I'm putting <laughs> myself in a better position to pass. And which exactly. is what I did. So exactly. what I did was that when I did two mocks the first week, I said no, this is not enough. So the next week, what I decided to do was make my Mondays and Tuesdays mock days and also make oh, wow. my Saturday and Sunday mock days. So it was four oh, wow. mocks a week. Fabulous. So this four mocks, I kept that energy, you know, because I wanted to see myself, because I wanted to act like I was in the exam every week. Exactly, because it gets you ready. And this is it's not only for the knowledge. It's not just for the knowledge base. You're building the stamina. Someone like me who develops a active, some sort of overactive bladder when I'm in exams, I have to do my bladder training as well. You, you get what I mean? Yes. There, there are different things you're training during those 
those grueling because the mocks are grueling. They're not exactly. you're sitting for you're sitting for the three hours, ten minutes of the exam. Exactly. And taking two hundred questions. You understand? So exactly. they're grueling mocks, but I mean, you, you did agree with me that by the time we went through all of that on exam day, it felt like you were writing another mock, didn't you? Exactly. So on exam day, it felt like it was just another day I was sitting at home and writing a mock. So it was the same skills. There was no difference. I just had to apply the same skills I used during the, yeah. the, the my mock. And mm. I came out with the example of feeling extremely happy. Exactly. Exactly. And so you, you came out of the exam of feeling extremely happy. And then when the result came out, you, you almost clinched the 90 percent. Exactly. So exactly. the, the extra the extra mocks you were putting paid off. Yes. And, you know, of course, the normal grace that comes with um, um, yes. passing exams, isn't it? Yes. 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 So th this way, this way, the strategies and I mean, it's a strategy that no one tells you. People just tell you, you know, do the pass past questions, read them, then do about two to three mocks. No, we can't do two to three mocks before you enter that example. You're competing no. in this exam with over 2,000 exactly. or 3,000 plus candidates. And exactly. this, is a this is a progressive exam. You need to show them why they should pass you. So, exactly. Very so competitive. You can't, you can't, very competitive exam. So you can't go into this exam hall having just done over two to three mocks and then you're going to the exam hall. No, you need to, you need to prepare yourself, especially if you're an international medical graduate. Exactly. Because exactly. this exam is because not something you're used to. It is not It is not the same thing as the PLAB that we take. It is no. very different from the PLAB. I totally so, agree. I totally agree. So, so, you know, I was very lucky that I met you, you know, you know, on that day. And I was very lucky to get your advice from nowhere. And you advised me as sincerely as, you know, as a friend, a brother. And, you know, you, you, you know, I'm sure you didn't know it was going to go a long way for me because, I mean, you just, you, you just did that and you passed. So you didn't understand, you know, what pattern you formed. So when you formed, mm. I mean, as you formed this pattern, you know, and, and you told me, I took your word for word because I was like, you have gone through this journey three mm -hmm. times. And exactly. twice you were unsuccessful. And the once you were successful, you had a very high score. There's a reason you have told me to follow this pattern. And there's a reason this pattern works for you and, you know, and, you know, you applied a different strategy. So I decided to apply your strategy, but adding more efforts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the aim of this exercise, like this, this uh, footage I'm go we're going to post on YouTube is just to see if at least our colleagues can, you know, those who feel like they're struggling can, you know, at least put in the same thing and get even better or, or equally results. good results and because the exam is four chances like exactly. i said at the beginning if you don't pass it people have been you know people who pass this exam first sitting they don't some people have not heard stories of people who have been advised to leave the the general practice training program because of yeah. this thing and yes. there are people i've heard stories yes so is they that are. serious it's not like it's child's play or you have all day every day to write it no, 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 no. <laughs> the, the chances are not waiting for you. No, they are not. And again, you know and that again kind of thing. it's depressing to also write it again. It is. Can, yeah, some people don't some people don't take failure like easy. Some yes. people don't take failure easy, you understand. But I mean, I mean, I, just to, just to round up, yeah, because we've, yeah. we've put in a bit of time into this, and I'm just going to give some of my final words, and I'll ask you to give your final words. You yes. Know. Um, I, I mean, what I'm going to say is that for those who haven't passed, it's it's very important. I know, I know it's difficult. Some people have always passed, passed, passed. You know, we're all doctors. We, you know, to be able to succeed at this stage, we we've come a long way in building a bit of intelligence, knowledge base, and all of that. But at some point. You just have to, you know, put yourself together and realize that nobody's perfect, really. Yes. You know, uh, it's happened. You you have to look to the next one. You have to, like in medicine, we have to reflect. Do you understand? Exactly. And, and, and build on the knowledge. Build on the knowledge and eventually use it to be successful. Yes. Uh, that's what I'm going to don't. Nobody should dwell too much on their past failures. Yes. You know, be stronger for you. Somebody told me that, Daniel, you, you, you know, you, you didn't pass. It was very narrow. You, you it, this for you to write this exam again. It means that you're even going to understand and be more, be more kind of it's, like fresher with the guidelines compared to us that yes. passed like several months ago. You know that kind of thing. 
Yes. So just 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 seeing the positive in all of it. And and what would be some of your final words before I say a very big thank you to you, Dr. Native, for you know volunteering to come and share this um, information uh, with me so that other of our people. What would be your your final words for yeah uh, so, how to pass the AKT? So my 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 final words would be um if you know I have for those that have failed and you know are writing this exam again, I need you mm -hmm. to forget about what has happened. Yeah. Learn from your failure. And exactly. Move on very quick. I know that is very difficult. And why I'm happy giving you this is that I'm not giving you this from the points where I have passed, but I'm giving from the point where I had failed and exactly this exam again for the second time and had a massive difference in my score. And yeah. the massive difference will only come if you get a better attitude towards the exam. Exactly. And the only way you can get a better attitude towards the exam is accepting that you have failed the exam, accepting that you are not a failure for failing the exam. At all. It's just either you failed because the technique to the exam was bad or there was deficiency in your knowledge. And this is exactly. a second opportunity, not just to pass the exam, but to build yourself as a you know, well-grounded general practitioner. Hundred percent, couldn't agree less. So, couldn't, and for those that are going to, going for the exam for the first time, I need you to go go to that exam with with the aim that you're going to pass, and also bear in mind that there's a possibility of failure because the possibility mm -hmm. of failure will put that fear in you to work harder not to fail the exam. Yeah. So, um, and I wish everyone the best. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Niti, for, you know, taking this time out. I told you it wasn't going to be too grelly. Dude. It's been <laughs> actually fun, hasn't it? Yes, it is. It is. It is because it made me reflect <laughs> back on the whole process of the exams. And, you know, that day, I, I you know, that evening when you passed your own exam that I spoke to you yeah. and, you, you, you know, you accepted my call. You took me through everything bit by bit, you know, yeah. advisement. And you also assured me in your words that do this and it will work. And it like this thing is shocky. <laughs> it's shocky. It's like, I tell somebody, give me the key, please. Give me the key. <laughs> That's what we all need, isn't it? Yes, 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 yes. I'm telling you. Anyways, thanks. I'll um, end the um, call now and then we'll uh, catch up shortly. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Cheers. Okay, bye-bye. Okay,